everybody and welcome to a game called Bad End. And this is a slight horror uh, role-playing sort of point and clicky game. I don't know. It's like frisky business. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. Ooh, okay, yes. I'm being pursued by someone tonight on the street. By whom? I haven't the slightest clue. I can say one thing for sure. Whatever it is isn't human. If I'm caught by whatever it is, what's going to happen to me? I continue to run despite the uneasiness in my gut. But no matter how hard I try, they keep right on my tail. Give me a break already! Whenever I glance behind, it just seems like they're getting closer and closer. What the hell? I don't understand any of this. Why are they after me? It doesn't matter. I have to lose them no matter what. If I can just make it to my house, I should be safe. I kept running and eventually came to an intersection and took a quick dash down one of the side streets. Suddenly I was blinded by a pair of bright lights accompanied by the sound of screeching brakes. Ah! <laughs> I immediately felt an intense shock throughout my entire body. Slowly my consciousness slipped away. <laughs> what a great start. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> The school bell rang. That's it for today's lesson. I have to head out now. Oh, it's dude. Okay, right. I have to do a dude's voice. Ka Kayuhei? Kayuhei? Oh, you're going to have to forgive my pronunciations in this game. Please, okay? <laughs> Kayuhei, don't you have something important to do right now? The class president, Kaname Sasaki, spoke up. Yuji Ogata, our friend turns in our direction as well. Okay, right. Yuji. It's a new educational game. Yeah, it's good for the brain and keeps it in tip-top shape. Yeah, that's right. So Yuji, how about you joining me for a game or two? Hell yeah, I'll beat you for sure this time. <laughs> Are you sure that's okay? I remember you saying something about bombing your last exam, right? The class president countered in a sharp tone. But I guess his efforts were in vain. These Japanese games are the hottest thing right now. So what? What are you implying? So that's the reason why we play these games? It also means that we're getting valuable cultural experience by playing with people online around the world. You guys are so full of crap. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We're best friends, right? Yeah, that's right. My name is Kyuhei Inui. Inui? Inui. I don't know. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. My pronunciations are going to be terrible. I'm walking home with my childhood friend's friend, Yuji. Hanging out with him never gets old, and I think Yuji also agrees. When we get to my house, I immediately fire up the game console. Okay, I choose Jupiter. Alright then, I choose Mars. Nowadays, we're obsessed with a new strategy war type game. The game names the stages as planet names. And oddly enough, there are some with little girls' names. The hidden stage in this game is called the Black Hole, and that's not even a planet, huh? That is weird. We went ahead... We went head-to-head -head a few rounds, but in the end, we were about evenly matched. The boys live close since kindergarten, so we've been able to play together on the same console. Of course, we also just chill and hang out for no reason in general. We both have different tastes when it comes to game genres. It's always been that way. On that note... Want to play something else? There's a mobile game I want to check out. That's cool, I'll read some... Manga. Manga? Man manga. <laughs> Why don't you try out the game as well? Yuji boots up his phone and is already completely immersed in the game. Do you play any mobile games? I... Don't. <laughs> For one, mobile screens are just so tiny it's hard to call it true gaming experience. Honestly, I don't see the big hype about mobile games. What's so great about mobile games anyway? For starters, you can play mobile games anywhere at any time. I think that's reason enough. Even some of the simpler games are great to pass the time. Sometimes a big fancy screen with gorgeous graphics can get tedious and boring, just as with mobile games. I see your point. Even though Yuji gives me a lecture on how mobile games have merit, I still prefer good old-fashioned TV and game console. Well, if the game is as interesting as you say, then I might try it out. You need to play one of the more high-end mobile games. High-end? <laughs> it's good stuff, you'll see. 
What kind of game is it? The game that Yuji is recommending sounds interesting, so I might in fact like it. Actually, I haven't even downloaded the game yet. Then how do you know the game is as good as you say it is? Did you base that on a game review you read on the internet? Hey, can I use your PC for a second? I nodded and booted up the PC for Yuji to use. What displayed on the screen was an anonymous BBS forum board. Why are we reading this? This forum isn't restricted to just a particular genre, but I was reading a post on how insanely popular it is worldwide. That popular, huh? What's the game called? The game is titled Bad End. Despite the name, people say it's too good to put down. Yuji says this with a grin. It's a simulation horror survivor game. If a player gets a bad end in the game, then they supposedly die in real life. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> After an awkward silence, I chuckled and replied, they're making it sound that way to hype the game up. No man, I'm not kidding. It says so on the game's official website. Okay, well why aren't you playing it yet? That's weird, I can access the page, but the download link isn't working. Yuji turned the mobile phone's display so I could see it. There was a simple website that looked almost identical to the one displayed on the PC screen. There's a link on the page named Bad End Download. See, I keep trying, but the download won't start. Do you think it's a dead link? Well, according to the BBS, the game has been downloaded several times, so it should be working. A quick glimpse at some of the post headings confirmed this. Very strange indeed. I know this is crazy, but I'm... I just considered something. What? Do you think what these people are saying is true? I mean, the so-called myth about this game? Even though the webpage marks, makes this claim, how can we be sure it's not just a load of crap? Yuji places his mobile phone on the desk beside him and turns his attention to the website on the PC's monitor. There's 20 threads, that's quite a lot. We start to read through the posts. No, I can't download the game at all. Such a game can't exist. You need to face reality, seriously. Anyway, let's play baseball. <laughs> so far, about 80% of the posts were like this. I can't get the game to start. A game like this can't exist. I finally got the game to download and I'm already impressed with the oh, from the get-go. My first choice in the game was creepy. There's no way someone ended up dying. Blur. Yeah, I got the download to work. I'm going to stay up all night playing. The remaining 20% of the BBS posts are for the most part positive praise about the game. So even though there's a ridiculous rumour about dying when you get a bad end, it seems some people just blow it off as a joke. Most of these people are probably trolls. Most? So you think these posts are trolls, huh? Well there is some interesting posts for sure. Check this out. Ah uh, no, I'm going to die! <laughs> The evil one told me I have less than a minute to live, so I guess this is goodbye. Please, whatever you do, don't download this game unless you want to end up like me. See there? No way, I don't believe it. Yeah, I agree. Yuji laughs pleasantly and agrees that it's probably just a hoax. Bad End was released a few months ago, but this BBS board didn't show up until recently. Every day since then, bogus posts like this keep popping up. Since the download link is broken most of the time, it's not surprising most people just forget about it and move on. Well, this game isn't completely forgotten, it's a total mystery for sure. It doesn't make sense. This is the internet, after all. These things are bound to happen sometime or another. There's also something else I remember reading about this game. Apparently only a few select people are able to download it. A few select people? Although I try the download link every day, I can't get the damn game to download. Let me try. I access the download page with my own mobile phone. I navigate to the same download link and tap on it. No good. It won't work for me either. Check this out, there's a few posts that have actual gameplay recorded from the game itself. I see, so they've uploaded what they've played so far. That's actually impressive that players actually have uploaded their own game experiences for all the players to see. Yuji finds and clicks on a link in one of the posts that takes him to one of the player's Twitter page. According to the page, the last update was five days ago. I wonder why they stopped tweeting. Good point. He was tweeting frequently up until just five days ago. Do you think he might have died? Oh, come on, man. Seriously? We give the page another quick once-over. 
It seems the first couple of the tweets are mostly praise and about how great the gameplay is, however, from there posts get stranger and more ominous. The dark being came right out of the screen. That was the final tweet from this player. Nothing more had been posted after that. He probably posted this to further hype up the game just like I said earlier. That's all there is to it. But still, I'd like to give this game a try. <laughs> well I hope you're able to get it, running sometime soon. A little while later we decided to call it quits for the day. Seeing Yuji off I came back and sprawled out on the bed. So if a player gets bad end, then they die in real life? There can't be such a game, can there? I've never heard of this type of thing happening in a game. Yes, I'm just making a big deal out of nothing. There's no way a game like that could exist. Later on that night, my mobile phone started ringing and displayed Yuji's number. Hey, you're not going to believe this, haha. <laughs> What's up? I finally got bad end to download. No kidding. For a moment, I thought he was making it up. But Yuji seldom tells a lie, especially not about video games. Even if it was a lie and I said, show me tomorrow, Yuji would outright admit he was telling a fib. What's it like? Have you played it yet? It just finished downloading and I was just about to install it. I'm curious to hear how it is after you play it. Alright man, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll give you the details. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. The conversation ended with friendly laughter. Yuji seemed really stoked to finally get the game downloaded. Now I'm curious and wouldn't mind going over to his place to check it out. Maybe I'll ask him tomorrow. However, oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Little did I know that this would be the last conversation I would have with Yuji. No, Yuji! Uh oh. I have some regrettable news. Oh no! The morning a homeroom teacher started speaking, Yuji Ogata died last evening. What? The sound of confused voices could be heard throughout the room. Yuji... died? Although it was futile, I sent him a text anyway. There was no reply. Maybe he caught a nasty cold or bug and was just home in bed. That didn't seem to be the case. Why? Why did he have to die? I don't understand all the details myself, but apparently he died in his own bedroom. Let's all settle down for now. I'll keep you posted if I hear anything new. The teacher's words stunned everyone, and the room was dead silent. Yuji died. Yuji, my best friend, died. Soon, Yuji's funeral was carried out. Yuji was an only child. I can only imagine the heartbreak Yuji's parents felt. All of the other classmates attended the funeral as well. Boys wore expressions of disbelief, and the majority of the girls were sobbing. Yuji was admired and liked by everyone he came to know. Now I was looking at a picture of him, taken not too long ago. Why? Why did you have to die? My body is shaking, the tears flowing freely down my cheeks. Some time passed, but my world was still shattered. Kanami. Kiyuhei, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do... He was my best friend for ten years, and just like that, he's gone. I know you're hurting, but give it some time. Time heals all wounds. I'm, I'm trying, okay? The autopsy showed that his cause of death was acute cardiac insufficiency. Yuji, to my knowledge, didn't have a life-threatening disease, so what the hell happened to him? Wait, could it be... If a player gets bad end, then they will die. The ominous words keep repeating in my head. Bad end. I totally laughed it off as one big load of crap. Is, is it really even possible? Dun, dun, dun! After school, I visited Yuji's house. Thank you for your prayers for Yuji. Not at all. We can't use the comics and games that Yuji kept, so I want you to have them. I'm sure he would have wanted the same. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I have another reason for coming here today. Do you happen to have Yuji's mobile phone he was using? Yes, it's on his desk. There's a recorded, a record of an email that I want to keep. Okay, I wanted to take a look at some of the contents. I 
go over and take the mobile phone from the desk. Yuji said that he had successfully downloaded and installed Bad End. It's surely still installed on his phone. Oh. When the list of available apps appears, Bad End is listed as being installed. Yuji had installed it after all. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. By the way, did Yuji really have a heart condition like the doctor said? The doctor said as much, but... But what? Upon replying, fresh tears started streaming down her face. Yuji's face had turned so pale and he looked so scared. He had scratched and clawed at his own throat. He must have been in so much pain, on top of not being able to say anything. May I please borrow his phone for a little while? Ooh, I'm actually getting goosebumps. <laughs> I was allowed permission to borrow Yuji's phone. I couldn't conduct an investigation when his mum was in such an emotional state. <sighs> Yuji's mobile phone is the same make and model as my own. It's actually a very common phone and nothing too special. However, he had downloaded Bad End. Although I tried on my own mobile phone, I couldn't get it to install. Then why was Yuji able to download it? At any rate, I'm going to go and try and play it. I hesitated. This game could potentially be the only game in existence to completely defy any logic or human comprehension. But I have to know the truth behind this game. With determination, I started the app called Bad End. However... Huh? An error message showed. Error, execution failed. And the application force closes. Shit. Then no matter how often I tapped the screen, it wouldn't respond. For several minutes, no matter what I did, it was no use. Pressing the end button had no effect either. My hand holding Yuji's phone was trembling. A sense of fear was creeping in. Yuji, was this game really what killed you? It has to be. Yuji fell victim to this game, just like the other players that supposedly got killed as well. Killed by the infamous bad end. Damn it horror video game that actually kills a player in the real world. Based on what's happened so far, this seems to be the case, despite on how unbelievable it sounds. Come on, this is so ridiculous. Yuji had died, that's for certain. But is there any evidence or clue on the phone as to what Yuji had seen or did while playing? I tried to boot up Bad End again. It didn't ask for any prompts or to supply any personal information from the player. For example, if the player is in a different time zone or location, depending on the game, it wouldn't run. Unexpectedly, something happened that I didn't anticipate. But what is happening? The game was displayed on the splash screen just a little while ago, but now the bad end icon had disappeared completely. Oh, <laughs> creepy! <laughs> Who made this game and for what reason? It just didn't make any sense. There's this new game out there called Bad End that potentially killed my best friend. This is all too much, but I have to know the truth. I have to dig up some more info regarding this whole thing. After finishing my dinner, I sat down in front of my PC monitor. Despite there being only a few number of players who got this game running, I chose one of them and looked into their profile further. Which one did I look at? Ooh. That one. I decided to check the other players' profiles. So far, I only looked at one player's Twitter page. If I do more advanced search, then maybe I can find out more. I try a direct keyword search for the game. Here we go, a blog. This looks promising. A bad end play diary came up. The last update was a month ago, then abruptly stopped. So what happened? The information posted is troubling. I decide to start reading it from the beginning. My wish finally came true. I was able to download Bad End. I'm so excited. Sadly, I can't show any proof due to my lack of a digital camera. Therefore, any comments are welcome. I'm slowly playing through the game in my spare time. I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to spoil the plot, but the story is rather cliché. Just as I was thinking of the lack of imagination my first plot choice appeared, my palms were sweating. Not long afterwards, I met my first Bad End, lol. But of course, nothing happened to me, as per the rumour that was circulating on the net. Naturally, there is a lot more of the game to explore. I'm still here, 
although I thought at one particular time I was actually going to die, then I realised it was all a dream. If the main character makes the correct choice, then the story continues. That's to be expected, right? Then bad luck reared its ugly head and I got onto my second bad end. Obviously, I'm not very good at these type of games. I <laughs> Oh, really? The updates end there. Holy crap. <laughs> The blog was only maintained for four days. It may all be a practical joke. There's no evidence to back up his claims. He might possibly already be dead. The last incomprehensible string of text was likely due to a panic or distraction. At the start of the blog, the information was pertaining to the player's initial impressions of the game. I'm going to be vague. The storyline is cliché. From what the first posts here described, it conflicts with what the anonymous BBS board had said. Most of the other play, play diaries I skimmed through aren't very helpful. Not surprisingly, they aren't being updated regularly either. Which one did I look at? I accessed the anonymous BBS board. I started typing the new thread into the new thread box. My best friend who was playing this game died last night. I'd like to investigate the mystery of this bad end. I'm not making any of this up. If anyone has any information, please respond. I immediately got some replies. It's a troll. How did he die? Tell us. Show us a pic or something. If you have some proof, I might believe you. Shit. Despite the quick reply, nothing was helpful at all. I was getting irritated. Just... Don't delve into the matter any further, it's not worth the risk unless you've got a death wish. Yeah, I think you should just forget about this game and move on, no good can come of it, like dying. Your friend probably would want you to steer clear and not repeat his mistake. There was also a tidbit here that was unsettling. My heartbeat started to race, but I bear it and take a deep breath. I need to find out exactly what happened to Yuji and the cause of his death. Although it's possible one of these people have encountered Yuji, they seem to not have witnessed any of these events regardless. Despite that, was it really a troll getting a kick out of this whole ordeal? Or did they really fall victim to this sick game? Now I'm more excited than ever to start playing the game. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Frustrated at the lack of useful responses, I close the BBS. Okay. It seems that you can't run the game unless you are a specific person chosen to play it. Are those players able to download the game special in some way? Or was it purely at random? Which one did I look at? I decided to search for the game on a popular gaming information site. Bad End is all the rage right now, so there must be more information out there. Oh, here we go. I accessed a popular gaming information board and began reading. Bad End is the new mobile game which suddenly appeared on the network out of nowhere several months ago. Despite having a link to download to a download page, it's usually down. It seems to have a very sophisticated choice selection system. Supposedly if the player picks the wrong choice, then they will die for real. We find it hard to believe that a video game can actually have the potential to kill someone. Somehow, the administrator of the site hasn't a clue. The rumour surrounding the game is basically summarised. It's just like what Yuji had told me before he played the game. Hmm. One of the ominous sentences caught my eye towards the end. It, it is said that there is a great reward awaiting the player that can clear the entire game without dying. A great reward, huh? I wonder what it is. Despite the danger of actually dying, people actually think it's worth the risk. Is this the reason people are playing? Well, I'm not interested in the prize for beating it. I'm only interested in getting to the bottom of what killed Yuji. I turned off the power to the PC and lounge in my bed. Nothing I came across was very helpful. I'm starting to feel even more depressed. If I can't download the game, I can't play it. I want to play the game. If there is a god out there, please allow me to play the game. Yuji, you probably really didn't think that you'd die in real life. It's only natural to think that way. No one just ups, up and dies when you lose a life in a damn video game. But people didn't take it seriously and played the game like they would any other, and paid the ultimate price. Even if I don't know who's responsible for this, just sitting here won't help me find out. My mind was made up. 
I decided that I'll beat Bad End and find out the mystery behind Yuji's death. So deciding on that, I can't wait to get started on the game as soon as possible. I tried downloading the game multiple times while on break between classes, but the download refused to start. Damn it, why can't I download it? Kiyuhei. Oh hey Konami, what's up? What's with that long face? He saw right through me. Regardless, I'll just I'll do just about anything to get this game up or this damn game up and running. If something is troubling you, I'm here to listen. I'm too desperate to look into Bad End. It's all I can think about. Have you heard a mobile game called Bad End? I've heard of it. It's where if the player dies in game, then they die for real. Despite all the current information on the net, it seems that people are elaborating on their own personal experiences within the game. Yuji had played the game just before he died. Eh? The game was still installed on his phone when I attempted to boot the game. The app just disappeared from the main screen. It seems that someone was trying to sabotage any chase traces of the game's activity. I can't believe such a game actually exists. So Yuji died from playing this game, not a damn disease? No way, come on Kiyuhei. Konami was clearly annoyed by my explanation. Our fellow classmates turned to look in our direction at the commotion. Don't buy into such a stupid rumour. He died of an underlying medical condition. If it's such a stupid rumour, then just... Oh, then tell me why it's not true. Just face the facts. I saw the game disappear from the phone with my own eyes. Try explaining that. This is God's honest truth. I'm not making this shit up. That's why I'm going to find out what happened to Yuji by any means possible. I know it's hard on you to lose your best friend of ten years, but you have to move on. But don't misunderstand. You can't let yourself fall to despair over someone who has passed on. There is nothing more that you can do. The expression in my eyes were one of disbelief and helplessness. I didn't know what to do or say to him. Thanks again for trying to cheer me up. I'll see you later. I spend the rest of the day at the school avoiding everyone. I wasn't in the mood to socialise. Is it really a hopeless situation? Is it just stupid of me to want to find out the reason behind the death of my best friend? No, I refuse to believe that. But after talking to Konami, it somewhat dashed my hopes of pursuing the truth. That one player's startling reply on the anonymous BBS resurfaced in my mind. He basically said to stop trying unless I have a, had a death wish. I eventually calmed down after remembering those words. Yes, I'm afraid of dying, but finding out about Yuji's death was worth the risk. Should I just ignore my gut feelings? Though I screamed in frustration to know that I could potentially die, I couldn't help but think. If anything should happen to me, what would my parents do if I died? After arriving home, I spent it alone. It's been one week since Yuji's death. The smoke was slowly clearing, and reality that he was gone slowly sank in. <sighs> Will I just give up on finding out more about Bad End? First of all, there's not much I can do if I can't play the game. No matter how you look at it, the game has to choose me. No matter what I do, if the game doesn't somehow choose me, then I can't do a thing. I access the download page for final for a final last attempt at downloading the game. If this doesn't work, then I might as well give up. And I push the link. Holy... The download link worked! A blue progress bar appeared, and before long it reaches 100%. Do you want to run the game? After the message button... Oh, after the message, a button for yes and no were displayed in a box prompt. Are you serious? I was finally able to download it. This is it. I can finally look into the matter and put an end to all the rumours and bullshit of the game. I steeled myself to find out the truth behind Yuji by any means. The flame of determination again burned bright where it once had burned out. Well, shit. Now for the moment of truth. Should I just let it go and return to my life or walk away and not take the risk? No way, I have to do this. Even these doubts lingered in my mind despite getting the download to miraculously work. Damn it. It's like the game is taunting me. It's scaring and infuriating at the same time. 
what shall I do? Do I play bad end or not play? That's what we're doing, isn't it? There's no way I won't play. I gritted my teeth and stared blankly at the display. If, it is, if this isn't fate, then I don't know what is. This game may very well be a death trap because it's already claimed one victim, but I won't be defeated so easily. I'll do anything I can to clear it. I will do it. And I started the world of Bad End. The bell chimed, signalling the end of the school day. It's finally over. Koko, Kuyuko? And now it's time for yours to truly make a swift exit. After hearing the energy in my words, my friend, my close friend, Kana Mihashi? Mihashi retorts with a laugh. Ah, the bell, what a sweet sound. Oh, Kuyuko, do you have a, another hot date lined up tonight? Another hot date? It's not like that. I don't want just any man, I want a foreign guy. American. <laughs> An American, huh? Oh my. Kana sighs. I don't have an actual steady boyfriend, but there's this one guy at school that I do hang out with often. Sometimes I have him treat me to some fine di dining at times. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what everyone does? I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> well, I got to go. Got a hot date to get ready for. Oh yeah, have fun and break a leg. Kana left the classroom earlier than usual. Kana's boyfriend is very handsome. They seem to make a great couple. By the way, who should I invite today? My name is Koyuko Iwasaki. I'm pretty much your average carefree teenage girl. When the bell rings, I usually hang out with Kana and her boyfriend until the evening. What about studying? Yeah, only when it's appropriate. One hour later, my stomach was stuffed. Ah, that was delicious. Let's go to the patisserie again. Boy, A. Eh? <laughs> well, do you intend to be my lover or your lover? I'm being serious. I really like you. I don't want you around another guy. Sorry, but I'm not ready to have a series, any serious relationships. Whatever. Bye. Damn, friend zoned. <laughs> I came home and lie down on my bed. Do you not intend to be my lover? <laughs> I've heard that line a dozen times or so, but I turn them down every time. I have to admit, I am a little jealous to see my friends with handsome guys of their own. It seems that I have a knack for running guys off. At least that's what Kana said. I don't think that's true at all. There's nobody else that's as easygoing as me. After supper, I decided to take extra time with my makeup. Of course, applying makeup at school is against the rules, but it's in a girl's better interest if it's for being with a hot guy on a holiday break. <laughs> I thought that to myself as I began to start on my makeup. Ugh, it's all used up. I completely forgot that I used the last of my foundation yesterday. I should have grabbed some more during my way back home today. Okay, I'll go and get some. I think a nightly stroll is good for me every now and then. I arrived at the convenience store close to my house. Fortunately, you can buy decent cosmetic products at convenience stores nowadays. Oh, Coco! Kana was standing in front of the magazine section in the corner. She was looking through a fashion magazine. What a coincidence! I came to buy cosmetics. Perfecting the art of applying makeup, you sure know how to wrap a man around your finger for sure. Ha, <laughs> that's so not true. After the small chatter, I finished my shopping. I decided I might as well accompany Kana on our walk back home. It was a relatively straight walk. Have you ever stayed out this late at night before, Coco? Several times. Who hasn't? I've stayed out for karaoke and movies, for example. I'm told my singing is very arousing. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so who did you go with when you stayed out late? If you ever run into any of my studs, don't eat even try to make a move on them. I never do such a thing. But now that you mention it, I did hang with him before you two met. For real? That's news to me. I thought I was his first sweetheart. Well, we were never truly lovers. Hmm. 
It's all news to Kana. It seems she's somewhat jealous. Then right about that time. What? I couldn't believe my eyes. Suddenly a black shape appeared out of nowhere. What? Coco, what is that? I've no idea. Fog? Mist? I can't make it out at all. Maybe some sort of demon creature. How dare... What? How dare you? How dare you? The strange thing said in its crazed way over and over. Hurry! Run away! Run! Oh, Coco! I turned and ran at full speed. Kana was not far behind me. Ooh! <laughs> okay, pause. What kind of freaking shadowy demon goes, Ooh! <laughs> I don't even know! It's gaining ground fast. It's surely faster than us. What? What the hell is that? I don't believe what we've witnessed. But I saw it with my own two eyes, so there's no way I'm just imagining things. It's a creature not of this world. <sighs> Where are we going, Coco? Does it matter? Anywhere is good as long as we get away from that thing. My feet were getting tired, and as soon was out of breath from running. Then, an intersection! Which way should we go? The right, or to the left, or keep going straight? Which way do I run? Uh, uh, um, 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 go, go right, because the right is always right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The girls. The girls are in the game. That's not a separate thing. Oh, I get it now. Ooh, okay, right. So we're playing those girls' life as Kiyuhei. Ooh, a choice. As for an adventure game, a choice is important. Typically, when a player chooses the wrong choice, it often results in a game over of some sort. Bad end works in this way too, according to what I've read. Kiyuhei, aren't there any hints? It seems it might be purely left to luck. If I choose wrong, I surely will die here. This is probably the only chance I'm going to have, so there might not be no going back. What should I do? Stop playing or continue? <laughs> I made up my mind to continue playing. Of course, there's still the fear of dying. I don't intend to quit now. After all, it's only natural to want to find out what killed my best friend. Maybe there's some sort of invisible force that's beckoning me in to play this deadly game. But I decide to chance it and push forward. Which choice should I make? <laughs> what happened? Which way should I go? The right, the left, or keep going straight? Which way do I run? I put the right last time. Go right! I took a right. Oh god! Kana, hurry up! I shouted without looking back. Isn't there a main street? Then... Oh no, what's happening? We made it to the main plaza. <sighs> when I turn around, the weird shadow was nowhere in sight. That's a relief. Perhaps the shadow can't come where there are many people gathered in one place. What was that thing? Don't ask me. Anyway, let's just get out of here. I'm heading home. Call me later, okay? Right, I'll see you later. Ooh, this, this is the, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, it's a bit slow to start, but I'm kind of getting into this game. <laughs> I went home quickly when I parted from Kana. I thought that the shadow would most likely catch up to me. Fortunately, that didn't happen. <sighs> I stashed the cosmetics away that I bought at the convenience store and lie down in bed. I'm in no mood to do makeup right now. Uh, my body is still shaking from the whole ordeal. Who or what was that? Why were they chasing after us? I don't understand it at all. What would be the reason why someone would want to attack a common everyday girl like me? Oh, wait. I am gorgeous after all, and men stop and stare at me as I pass by. Could it be the soul or the spirit of a pervert out to get me? Pfft, no way. There's nothing I can do dwelling on it. It can't be helped. I decide to go to bed early. Sleep will take my mind off of everything that happened. But I can't help but wonder, what was it? What if I'm attacked by that thing again tomorrow? Ooh. I just, 
I, I just have to point out <laughs> that when that demon spirit thing was chasing and it actually said, Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well it seems like that was the correct choice. I felt relieved and decided to save and quit for the, for the day. The game's story is your typical cliché horror plot. Koyuko Iwazaki, the main character, is in a strange area at night. She is a clueless girl that apparently gets a bad end if you pick the wrong choices. So what really lies ahead? Based on what I've played, it's hard to predict what happens next. And yet, Koyuko may have some character traits I find unappealing. It seems as though she messes around with guys in, e in an equal measure, but what about her secret desires, hmm? It's not really important. I got past the first choice and still able to proceed. But how long will I have to keep making these choices? Just thinking about it makes me depressed. While I'm at school, I tried keeping busy to take my mind off of Bat End. At least... did I just say Bat End? <laughs> at least I thought I could. You know how they said Ogata died, right? It seems that it was the result of a game called Bad End. I overheard the conversation. Outside the classroom, people were talking about it as well. That's the result of opening your mouth on the whole mess. Now there's another rooming spreading across the campus. Um, sorry. Once one person hears it and passes it along, it won't stop. He's right. It's probably already spread like wildfire through the entire school. That's absurd. There's no way you can die from a video game. The rumour's probably known by everybody now. Well, it can't be helped. It's our duty to dispel any said rumour. I understand. Bad End is still installed in my mobile phone. How will the class president react if I mention it? Don't tell him. No, it would be pointless to mention to Konami. He'll say, oh, that's just a load of crap, or something along those lines. If this rumour gets out to Yuji's parents, it won't bode well with them. That's Konami for you. He always has other people's best interests in mind. The rumour about making a fatal mistake in Bad End resulting in your death is the truth. After school, I come straight home and took out my mobile phone. The title screen of Bad End appears upon flipping the phone open. A small road icon is displayed awaiting to continue the game. Although I haven't even played yet, I feel exhausted. My heartbeat starts to climb with anticipation. Just take a deep breath. Calm down, Kiyuhei. I take a deep breath and it helps ease the tension. I have to remain calm. I tap the icon and selected my last save, to save state to continue where I had left off. I woke up still depressed. Needless to say, I'm still worried about what was that, what that was all about yesterday. <sighs> it definitely wasn't just a dream. Kana and I were definitely attacked by something. What would have happened to us if we were caught? I didn't want to even imagine it. We might have been killed. Phew. Although I didn't feel like going to school, I'd end up being more depressed sitting around the house doing nothing. So I decided the best thing to do is to go tough it out and keep my chin up. I probably won't be attacked in broad daylight, much less at school with all the people present. I arrive at the school gate and joined up with Kana. Good morning! Good morning, do you remember what happened last night? You mean that cursed shadow? I don't know what else to call it. So you do remember it? What did you think it was? I haven't the slightest idea, but it scared the hell out of me. Too weird. Okay, enough with that subject. Let's go on and head to class. Yes, you're right. Let's go. The rest of the school day went as expected, without incident. The strange shadow didn't show itself at school, as I, just as I had predicted. Its weakness is probably being out in the light, but probably safe during the daytime. Hey! What? Kana speaks in a low voice, almost like she doesn't want others to hear. It's been bugging me all day. It's about the you-know-what we saw yesterday. We have to do something. I can't go through that again. I agree, but what should we do? Well, I was thinking maybe an exorcism. 
A, a what? An exorcism? Are you serious? I imagine one of those stupid psychic shows that come on TV. Are they expensive? I don't have a lot of money right now. Actually, I think we can manage. There's a priest at Tensu Shrine that seems very generous. The Tensu Shrine right next to our neighborhood? Yeah, it seems that he specializes in this sort of thing. Really? He'll probably cut us a deal. Who knows? Maybe he'll give us a student discount. <laughs> a student discount for exorcisms! <laughs> Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> it's worth a try at least, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Tensu is the largest shrine in the area with an extensive history. I visit only once a year. I didn't know they performed exorcisms. Hold on a sec, let me go talk to the priest. Okay, I'll be right here. Kana seems to know this place fairly well so I trust she knows what she's doing. Not long after, the Shinto priest comes out dressed in an elegant hakama. Hakama? I think so. I heard that you were troubled. If you want, I will do everything in my power to help you. Yes, thank you so much for helping us. Then Kana reappeared with a beaming smile. He's not going to charge us, isn't that nice? Haha, <laughs> I made an exception for you two. No charge. Shinto priest gives a hearty laugh. There's not much else we can do about our predicament. We just have to put our faith into the priest. When did you want to go? I hope we can do it as soon as possible. Then let's do it tonight. I'll go with you, of course. Sounds good. So tonight it is. I'll be ready. We left Tensu Shrine and dropped in at a local family restaurant. The uniforms that the waitresses wear are so neat. I want them too. Yeah, you're right. This place is pretty popular with the locals. They're famous for the stylish uniform that they wear while working. This restaurant is a one of a kind. There aren't any franchise chains or locations anywhere else in Japan, so it makes for a very popular tourist attraction. What can I get for you? I'll have the special ultra treat, please. I'll take the Ishtar original cheesecake. Sounds good. I can read your face. You're wondering what's so special about this treat, huh? Can I try a bite? <laughs> anyway, I had never experienced anything like that. The exorcism, I mean. Do you think it worked? I can't help but worry. Well, it's better than doing nothing, right? Don't worry about it so much. You're right. Before long, the waitress brings us our orders. Wow, this is really good. Definitely worthy of ultra treat. Yeah, the cheesecake tastes great too. It would probably have tasted better if it wasn't weighed down with worry. <laughs> Finally, it was night time. When we get to the shrine, the priest was already waiting. Please, come this way and step into this area. The area the priest pointed to seemed to be a barrier of some sort. I've only seen them in manga and on TV shows. Is this really safe? So I'm guessing the evil spirits can't break through here. At least that's the idea I get from the priest. The Shinto priest brandishes what looks like a staff. Can such a thing really help exercise spirits? Well, I guess we'll soon find out. Hmm, I feel an evil presence. A concerned expression appeared on the priest's face. My heart starts to race. Then I felt a presence that wasn't there a few seconds ago. Ah! Out of nowhere, the worst happened. It's the woo, dude! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I, I'll, I'll get back into the game, okay? <laughs> it appeared. That's it! The thing that attacked us yesterday. What's going to happen? Gah. <laughs> Gah. <laughs> well, at least it's better than... Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The shadow's eyes. <laughs> the giggles now. <laughs> The shadow's eyes shift in my direction. Why is it looking at me for? It doesn't look happy. Don't leave the barrier. Gotcha. Back to back, Kana and I move towards the center of the erected barrier. You're still out there. Will you be okay? Yes, I have to use the staff to ward it off. 
the priest starts to chant an incantation while motioning the wand in the air with a practice passion. Pat pattern, not passion, pattern. Evil spirit, be gone! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, but if there was like a dark demon evil spirit that was creeping up on me and all of a sudden it turns around and goes woo or goo or gah. <laughs> I'm just gonna piss myself laughing. That's it. I'm gone. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to take it seriously. I'd just die laughing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll get back into it. <laughs> the shadow seems to have shrunk a little. Did the priest's mantra work? However, the next moment... Gah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the shadow enveloped the priest from head to toe. His whole body turns pitch black. Ah! The priest falls into a fit of agony. Oh no! No way, is he dead? Oh, look, the shadow's speechless now. <laughs> the shadow turns in our direction and says, It's your turn to die now. What should we do? What should we do? Don't ask me! Is this barrier gonna keep that thing back? The priest's staff rolls just within our reach. Maybe I can use this, or should I make a dash for it? Oh no, a choice! What should I do? Oh no! No, no, I've got three, I've got three choices. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mini, 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 mo. Catch it never by its though. If it's real, then it go. Mini, 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 mo. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to run away. It's my natural instinct to run. Okay. Oh no. Three choices again. Oh no. If there were only two choices, it would be easier. Still, the probability of choosing the correct choice is one third. There's also a chance that my next choice will kill me. No! However, I won't know until I try. I'll rely on my instinct, so I'll try my best to choose the best one. I'm gonna run. Gritting my teeth, I studied the game screen three choices and made up my mind. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna kill everybody! <laughs> what should I do? Run away. Run. Run, Kana! Get out of here! Ah! The power of the barrier wasn't enough and I can't stand and fight against something I can't touch. Let's get to the town square, we should be safe there. Ah! <laughs> the thing soon chases after us at- uh, the blech, blech. Sorry, my English failed. <laughs> the thing soon chases after us at blinding speed. I refuse to let this thing catch me. Is it the right choice? Is it the right choice? Good. Fortunately, the intersection wasn't far from the Shinto Shrine. We finally made it to the busy intersection that was bustling with activity. Is the shadow still following us? We may have lost it. There was no sign in the, of the shadow anywhere. Oh my, I didn't think this would happen. But if the exorcism didn't work, what should we do now? Let's go home for now and sleep on it. We'll come up with something tomorrow. Yes, you're right. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> I haven't killed anybody yet. Well, apart from the priest, but I think he just naturally dies. I cried as soon as I walked into my room. Because of me, the Shinto priest died trying to protect us. He was a good man. He'll be dearly missed by the community. The exorcism, but why didn't it work? This is scary and bizarre. Please, God, anyone help me. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> Good. It seems I chose the right one. Luck was on my side, even though my odds were a slim one-third. It's logical to assume I can escape now. With a sigh of relief, I saved and exited the game. The horrors of the game clearly stood out in the playthrough for sure. The powerful Shinto priest's effort were in vain. I wonder how the schoolgirls turned out. I find myself feeling bad for them. I think the main character has some obvious personality flaws and I'm not crazy about them. However, inside she's probably just an innocent girl that has a bright future ahead. I want her to survive. I'm just worried about the next scenario and what obstacles there will be to overcome. I may die in real life if I make a mistake. 
I was not only dealing with my fear of dying, but my curiosity was getting the better of me as well. The thing that scares me the most is maybe this is one of the game's deadly features. Almost like its addictive properties are what draw potential victims in to play the game. Pretty much like Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not get ahead of myself. I'll sleep on it for now and continue this tomorrow. This game seems to be taxing on the mind and body. I need to be careful not to overdo it. Keep playing. Suddenly I hear someone's voice. I open my eyes. I couldn't see anything. Where am I? Keep going. Who are you? It's me, Kyuhei. Eh? Keep playing the game. So keep moving on. You can't turn back now. You have no choice but to clear the game. Hee <laughs> hee. The voices of Yuji and several men and women were speaking. Stop it, this isn't happening. There's nobody there. Ah! <laughs> huh? Now my surroundings were familiar to me. I'm still in my room. Was this a dream? Yuji's ghost started to enter my dreams after playing Bad End. This wasn't a coincidence. The voices sounded so real and were pleading me to continue playing the game. Yuji's voice also said to keep playing. Hell, I'd keep going even if Yuji didn't appear in my dreams. I wolfed down some breakfast and came back to my room. Today is Saturday and there are no classes today. I can spend the day off playing blad 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 blad. <laughs> Bad end and delve deeper into the mystery. What is the real motive behind the cursed shadow attacking Kuyuko Uwazaki? Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I mouse scrolled, I didn't know what I did there for a second. <laughs> the answers might be a long ways off, but each progressive is each progressive step is a step towards the truth. Alright, let's do this. I opened the mobile phone and started the band end bad end app. Oh my god, what's wrong with my English? It's deteriorating. The game is getting the better of me. <laughs> Waking up this morning was less than pleasant. Ouch! My body feels like a lump of lead. My joints and back ache, probably due to the heavy sprinting. The scenario from last night keeps replaying vividly in my head. What will happen now? Even with the powerful Shinto priest defeated, what can an average girl like me do against this thing? At this rate, I'm likely to get killed. Yes, it's me making the decision, so I'm sorry girl, but yes, it's likely. <laughs> I attended school and my anxiety re was refusing to let up. Good morning. I joined Kana as usual. She didn't seem to be taking it as bad as I am. Um, yeah, good morning. Hey, Kyoko. After greeting her, I quickly walked through the main school gate. I seem to be unable to hide my anxiety. I'm unable to concentrate on my studies. I was reprimanded by my teacher on several occasions. Hey, do you want to eat lunch on the roof today? The roof? Well, the roof of the school was always open. There usually isn't anyone on the roof eating lunch. The stairs are a pain to walk up each time. I bought tea and bread from the school vendor and made our way to the roof. As expected, no one was there. But what should we do? I just don't understand it. You're the only person worried about the whole thing. I think you're worrying too much. Just give it a rest, okay? I know, but what if I look for someone else with more powerful psychic abilities? It's probably a little far-fetched. Regardless, what if that fails too? I can't bear to see another person die. I want to do something about it. But how do I go about doing that? Anyway, you have to eat something so you can conserve your strength. Yes, you're right, of course. I started to eat slowly and wash down the bread with some tea. The shadows seem to only come out at night, so I'm most likely safe for now. <laughs> no, you should never tempt fate. Never say those things. Never think those things. Eh? What I saw was beyond my wildest expectations. The cursed shadow appeared. You have got to be kidding me. It seems this isn't a joke after all. I see it too. How dare you, how dare you. 
What did you say? What did I ever do to you? Why did you appear in broad daylight at school of all places? I assumed it only came out at night. It only attacked us during the night. Yeah, you're right. I concluded that this in a straightforward manner. Maybe the time of day doesn't matter. It may be that it can't come out with a lot of people present. What should we do? Kana asks in a hoarse voice. What action do I take? Oh no, another choice! No! Fight back somehow, save myself and run, tell Kana to run. Ah! Um, 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 um. I can either save myself and run, tell Kana to run, or fight back. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I have to save myself. I toss the bread and tea and make a dash for the rooftop at door at full speed. You're leaving me behind? Sorry, Kana, it's probably after me. I make it to the door, however. Yapes! The enemy had sneaked up without me realizing it. Gwah! <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry. Sorry. What? It seems to be extremely angry at something or someone. No, it seemed to be afraid. Help. I relentlessly begged for my life, but my prayers go unanswered. Oh! Oh gosh! Whoosh! I heard a sound. The cursed shadow then pierces my body like a sharp knife and passes through my heart. I immediately vomited blood and then fell face first into the pavement, unconscious. I never woke again. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Bad end. No. No, no. No, not Kiyuhei. A third choice. Another mistake. Bad end. Just seeing the tech seemed to sap the energy from my body. Wait. Damn it. Am I safer now? Should I find somewhere to hide? Maybe I can finally see who killed Yuji. Nothing? No matter how long I waited, nothing ever appeared. I was almost certain a demon or something would come out and attack me, but... Hmm... Since nothing is happening, I guess it's safe to assume that I'm okay. Let's keep going. I refuse to fail this time. What happens now? What action do I take? Do I get a second chance? Fight back! Wait, what about this tea? I've heard that in ancient times tea was used to ward off certain spirits. I knew there was a reason I like tea. I knew it. I'm invincible with the amount of tea that I drink. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> I heard the plastic bottle of tea at the cursed shadow. Take that. But there was no effect. What did you think that would do? I was unable to hear Kana's words at the end. No, the cursed shadow invades my nostrils and mouth with excessive force. Ugh. <laughs> the next moment my whole body seemed to be torn apart from the inside. It seemed using tea was pointless after all. Freaking tea. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> No! Oh no! What's gonna happen to Kiyuhei? Oh no! I'm shocked. That choice may have just cost me. Why didn't I stop to think more carefully? Yet I've reached a second bad end. My heart beats against my ribcage with extreme intensity. Shit! No! No! What? I threw the mobile phone across the room and jumped to my feet and fled out of the house. I knew what was in store for me now. What horror bad end was about to unleash? That end probably only gave the players one more chance after the first wrong choice, but probably not a second chance. The player of the blog was probably fine since he only made one mistake, but this would be my second mistake. I picked up the pace and sprinted faster. I looked back over my shoulder several times, but I didn't see anything chasing me. If I find somewhere with a lot of people present, then surely I'll be safe. Maybe that thing can't follow me then, however... Oh shit! What looks like a black car suddenly appears in front of me in a blur, merely a few feet in front of where I stood. Huh? There was nothing here a second ago. Huh? It wasn't a car. 
It was the cursed shadow disguised as a car. It had one purpose, to kill me. Even if I started to run away, it'd probably catch up and I'd be killed for sure. There was no escape routes to be seen. I'll never forgive the person who murdered me. Who murdered me? Oh shit, you have to be kidding. Is that... Uh, is that you? Iwazaki? I didn't have time to find out who or what it was. My death followed soon after. I never opened my eyes again. Wow. Ending number seven. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Yep, I like that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, it probably wasn't very exciting to watch, but like, I don't know, it's a good concept, I liked it. Anyway, um, this is my ultra long, super special Christmas edition thing, what's the name, I don't know, I'm just making it up as I go along, but anyway, if I don't see you guys before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas everybody, I love you all, with all my heart, thank you so much for supporting me, and I shall hopefully see you next year, yay! <laughs> Bye everybody!